So, back for another VGC guide, and this time we are looking at Wo Chen. It's been a while since I've said those words. Never got around to doing the Ruin Pokemon when Regulation C was announced. Whoops, here they are now, because Regulation D has been announced, and lots of new Pokemon to get through. I think there's like around 60 to get through. So, gonna get through the, the Ruin Pokemon so that I can move on to Regulation D very, very shortly. So, people will know what these do. These are definitely going to be not so early guides for these four. But I'm going to try and give at least one set that is a twist on, on the Pokemon so that hasn't really been used before. So, Wo Chen is going to be the starting Pokemon. Obviously, it just sits there and stalls like a Frothorn, like a Celesteela did. You just go for Leech Seed. It's very bulky. Then you just hopefully don't get KO'd. Tablets of Ruin, very good. A lot of things are physical in the Regulation C format. Obviously, it's going to be in Regulation D going forward very soon. But it still is a very good ability to help the rest of your Pokemon as well, not take as much damage, while also bulking out Wo Chen, meaning you can invest much more in special defense instead. So, can't remember what these EVs do, because I made them a while ago and then forgot to do the guide on them. So, just trust. So, yeah, Poison, Terra type, best one with the with Dark and Grass, as you get all the, the resistances that would be super effective against you, like the Bug is resisted, that's the quad weak fighting, uh, you get to resist as well, so... Yeah, it works out really nicely. Po uh, Fairy is another big one. So Poison is overall, I think, the best one. Water is pretty good as well, but Poison seems pretty good. Pollen Puff is good at healing your other Pokemon as well, so they can make use of the Tempest of Ruin even more, uh, because we've seen what Amoongus can do. Pollen Puff is a very good move, while still being able to do damage, which is a good thing, because then you're not just Taunt Bait as well. Uh, and then there's quite a few good options as well for attacking moves on Mo Chen. Snarl is a good one because it pairs the Tablets of Ruins and you get the attack reduction with the ability and then the special attack reduction with the Snarl. So again, doing damage so that you don't have to, have to just be taunted and then can't do anything. So Snarl is pretty good in that regard. Here are some other options. This is not a random move set. These are other options that could be instead of one of the attacking moves here. So uh, Foul Play, nice and consistent damage. You don't need to invest in your... Offenses at all to be able to do some good damage with Foul Play. Giga Drain is extra healing to make you even harder to be able to be KO'd. The downside of Giga Drain, I would say, is that because Leech Seed is a grass move and then you're going to be Giga Drain as a grass move, then it's probably better to be a dark type attack just to get extra coverage, as it were, even though Leech Seed isn't technically extra coverage, but like being able to hit a grass type with a dark type attack is probably a bit better. Uh, Knockoff is good utility in getting rid of items, so that's again, won't be doing too much damage, but it would still be able to help as well. So an attacking move that still helps out the rest of the Pokemon uh, is always going to be a good thing. Ruination halving their HP, going to be nice and consistent damage to them. And then that means that they only need a few rounds of Leech Seed as opposed to like 10 or like to be able to get the KOs of the Leech Seed uh, because you'll be able to just half their HP and then the Leech Seed puts them down as like 30% already. So going to be very nice as well. And then this is going to be the recommended move set that is not so... Um, uh, not so we've seen on Wo Chen because the leftovers I think is quite obvious. I just sped ran that quite quickly because people know what Wo Chen does. But basically, the idea behind this Wo Chen, Specs is going to be able to do, uh, do significant damage because that is the same special attack stat as Tapu Fini was. I say was is. I mean Tapu Fini's not a Pokemon at the moment. Thank God. But yes, 95 special attack. Tapu Fini was Specs. Why can't another 95 special attack Pokemon? B choice specs when it has pretty much the same bulk as Finny. In fact, slightly better because the special defense is um, better because the HP is slightly higher and the Tablets of Ruin is helping. So, I'm going to be able to sit on the field and just do good damage. Leaf Storm is going to be a very, very nice chunk of damage as well. Base 130 off of choice specs, that will easily two shot Pokemon, even with the special attack drop afterwards. So, that will be able to do some very nice damage. Dark Pole is going to be very consistent so, um, because 80 base power. Uh, it's going to be very nice, 100% accurate as well, as opposed to Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm is going to be a bit awkward at times. Uh, like Draco Meteor, it can easily miss with the 90% accurate. I like my consistency now, so Dark Pulse is a good one. Giga Drain would be good as well to be able to get that consistent recovery while also having a 100% accurate grass move. Uh, and then Terra Blast just to round things off with Fire. So I think the Fire is going to be better, slightly better coverage than Terra Poison would be. Poison would still be a good typing, but Fire would be nice offensive coverage. Terra Water would also be... Uh, nice as offensive coverage as well, while also being good defensive type. There's a few good defensive types on Mo Chen. And if you're going offensive, you probably do want to just maximize your special attack. You could probably get away with some kind of speed creep uh, if you did want to get it with Tailwind or something like that. But really, it's just supposed to sit there, not be KO'd, whether that's with the Leech Seed or potentially with this Choice Specs app. 